Hello everybody. In today's video, we're going to do a few different things. We're going to do a couple of quick unboxings. I'm going to cover some of the new gold products we have in the store, as well as give you a sneak peek at a counterfeit collection that came in the store last week. And I also will give you a better look at this coin here. More about that later. Uh, first, we'll talk about the gold. Gold sales have actually slowed pretty substantially. We we're moving a lot of gold in our stores uh, up until about a week ago. Um, gold is actually a little cheaper than it was uh, when we were selling more. So it's kind of strange. And actually, I just talked with a couple of my wholesalers as well, and they've seen a big drop off in dealers buying gold. So that tells me more dealers are in a similar situation where gold sales have really slowed down. Silver sales still remain very strong. Uh, we're still moving a lot of product. Um, it's not as quick and uh, it's not as quick of a turnover as it was maybe in the month of March when everybody in the world it seemed was buying silver but it's still moving quite well but I thought it'd be a good time to go over the different gold products we have because we do have quite a big variety at the moment I'll go over a few pieces um, and I also included a piece of platinum we don't get platinum in the store very often uh, but we do have a one ounce 2021 platinum eagle in store it's a beautiful coin if you didn't know what platinum looked like before well it looks a lot like silver but we do have that available uh, but in quantity, we have some one ounce Rand Refinery gold bars. We received a shipment of these just yesterday. So we got a good amount of these on hand in the shop. That's your cheapest way to buy one ounce of gold, is to buy a privately minted bar. Those typically will always have the lowest premiums. Uh, we also have a fair amount of Gold Eagles US and Gold Buffaloes. Now the Gold Eagle on my left here, uh, this is one ounce I'm sorry, one troy ounce of gold, but it's not 24 karat pure. It's actually 21 karat pure. There are some other metals in here. I believe it's silver. Um, but anyway, this coin on the left weighs more than the coin on the right, although they have identical amounts of pure gold. This one on the right here is the gold buffalo, also made by the U.S. Mint. This is the 24 karat version. It's four nines pure, has a $50 face value, Whereas this is only 21 karat pure, but it also has a $50 face value. So because there's silver mixed in, this is a much more durable coin. Uh, not that these will ever probably circulate, uh, but you can see the definition between the two in the design. The buffalo design, it's beautiful design, I love the coin, uh, but the design details are kind of weak because the gold when it's in that pure of a form is pretty soft. So it's hard to get a lot of definition in the design. So the American Eagle has a lot of definition. If I can get this to film well, but yeah, look at all the definition on the wings. Really beautiful piece. But yeah, so I get to ask that question a lot. And quite frankly, that's why the colors are different between the two coins, because this one is pure gold and this one isn't. So anyway, but they're the same price right now. They both have the same, uh, essentially the same wholesale and retail spread. Uh, but they are quite a bit higher than buying a gold bar at the moment. But those are some options in one ounce. I also have a few different certified one ounce gold coins. This is an American Gold Eagle, just like we showed here. Uh, but this is actually certified a Mint State 70. So it uh, arguably has some collector value to it. We also have fractional gold. We have a half ounce American Gold Eagle. We also have some half ounce gold maple leaves, which I didn't put on the tray. I think I forgot. Um, we also have quarter ounce, whoops, quarter ounce gold eagles, quarter ounce gold maple leaves, quarter ounce gold Krugerrands from South Africa. Now, one thing about gold, when you buy gold, you're gonna pay the cheapest premium the bigger the size you go. Same is true for silver. Uh, for example, you know, buying a one ounce gold bar, uh, you will pay a much lower premium than buying 10 one tenth ounce gold coin. Because the smaller you go, the higher the cost, because the premiums increase to cover the minting process. So if you can afford it, it's always the best value to buy a full ounce of gold, just like it's always the best value to buy the biggest piece of silver you can afford but that isn't always the most practical. So I just suggest doing what's right for you. Uh, I just showed a one tenth ounce gold eagle. We also have one tenth ounce gold maple leaves. 
Uh, we have uh, one tenth ounce Australian kangaroos. So quite a variety. And then I uh, did sprinkle in some different half gram bars. Now these are real tiny, uh, just for information's sake. In a one ounce gold coin or bar, there's 31.1 grams of gold. These are a half gram, so it's going to take 62.2 of these to equal an ounce. These currently sell for 50 bucks each in my shop. So you look at it that way, now you're looking at, what is that, $3,000, $3,100 gold essentially per ounce. So it's not a good value, but as I said, for all different budgets, there might be reasons that you do want to buy these small pieces of gold. But I do have quite a variety, a lot of different designs. These are all sovereign. These are Cook Islands, Cook Islands there, oh that's Cayman Islands. So anyway, a lot of cool pieces. My favorite is this little tiny half gram gold gingerbread man. There we go. Now he's a little better in focus, but that's a cool piece. And this is a sovereign also. It's from a government. So anyway, lots of options in the gold department. I know gold's not for all budgets, uh, but I thought I'd take some time out to do a quick information on gold since it seems nationwide gold sales have slowed. Um, honestly, probably for good reason, because as I've said in many videos, I think right now silver is a much better buy in terms of uh, potential growth. So but anyway, if you have any questions about this gold, uh, drop it down in the comments and I'll do my best to respond back in a timely manner. Now this tray is interesting. What you're looking at here is one man's entire collection of counterfeit coins. He intentionally collected counterfeit coins over a long period of time. It was actually a gentleman who was a dear friend of mine uh, and is in our local, I should say was, in our local coin club and he was serving as the coin club president at the time of his passing uh, a little over a month ago. Uh, but since then, the, his son had come in and uh, brought some of his dad's things, which included this counterfeit collection that I happily, happily bought from the family. Um, so I can try to find a good home for it. I might just keep it and use it for education. Uh, but there are some really cool pieces here. Here's a counterfeit peace dollar. This one feels a little light. I'll probably do a separate video on some of these and show you a real coin beside a fake and how to spot the difference. Uh, but there's anything from US peace dollars to US Morgan silver dollars. You know, there's Chinese coins, there's French. Uh, what else do we got here? Here's a Mexican, it's a fake Mexican coin. Here's a fake three-legged buffalo nickel. And I know the story of how he acquired this, and I'll tell that maybe in a different video. But uh, he told me the story of this to me several times. So this one's really has meaning to me because I know he's, he owned it for a long time and it meant a lot to him. But it is fake. Um, and then uh, fake trade dollars. It's an often faked coin. This one was actually sent into NGC. Came back not encapsulated because it wasn't genuine. So that stinks. But hey, I'm glad that uh, these aren't floating around out there somewhere where other people can get duped into buying, but anyway, that's a real cool collection there that uh, I'm thankful I was able to purchase uh, to help out the family and to own something that uh, once belonged to a dear friend of mine. So uh, next we'll move on to an unboxing. Got a couple different packages today, actually three. Uh, one of them is pre-sold. Uh, it was a box of Armenian Noah's Ark, but I've already done an unboxing on that, so I didn't bother doing that again because you've seen that before. But uh, let's open up this FedEx package and see what's inside. Based on weight, once again, I'm sure it's silver. Looks like it's nicely bubble wrapped. Whoop, my tray went kind of wild on me. Oh. Oh yeah, these I picked up from one of my wholesalers who hopefully soon uh, we're going to be doing a Zoom call uh, to create some uh, YouTube content for you all. If you have questions on what you want to hear from the wholesale side of precious metals, please drop them down in the comments. We're probably going to have our call in the next week or two. 
and I already kind of have an idea of the questions I want to ask him. He is one of the wholesalers that I use. Um, but uh, just curious as to how the wholesale market has changed uh, during all of this. So drop those questions down in the comments and I'll be sure to address them when I do my Zoom call that we're going to make into a video with him. Uh, his name, by the way, is Dave. Uh, he has a YouTube channel called Coin Huskers. I'll uh, put the um, description or a link to uh, his page in the description of the video. Puts out cool content on what he has available, uh, but he uh, is um, in a different state than mine, but uh, puts out a lot of good content as far as inventory levels and market trends and things like that. So I'm excited to talk to him. But anyway, that's where these came from. He, uh, I'm thankful, he knows that I love Inglehard. And that whenever he gets Inglehards that come in, I don't know if he does it all the time, but often he reaches out to me to see if I have an interest before he offers them to the general public. I'm very grateful. And when he sent me a picture of some of these the other day, this was just two days ago, he got this to me really quick. I said, yes, absolutely I want those. And I don't even know if I knew the price at the time. So he gave me a very, very fair price on these. But what I have here are 78, 78 one ounce vintage Inglehard silver bars. Looks like we have a few different types here. Well, this one's got some goo on it. Let me find a different one here. There we go. So here's a couple different styles. But uh, as I've said in many videos, and if uh, you're a stacker, you probably know Inglehard doesn't produce anymore. They stopped producing in 1986. So typically anything with the Inglehard name becomes highly collectible. I don't like paying crazy, crazy prices, but I am willing to pay a bit of a premium to acquire Inglehard because I do respect the collector market. And uh, it's really grown on me, quite honestly. So, but yeah, there are a few different designs here. Really cool pieces, like even these two are different. Where this one has the imagery on the verse, reverse and this one doesn't. But yeah, I have 78 of these. I'm gonna actually paw through these and keep some for my own collection. But I will have these available at the shop for sale. So if you're a lover of vintage silver bars, got a whole bunch of one ounce silver Inglehards. Very, very cool. Shout out to Dave at Coin Huskers. Thanks for thinking of me. We'll uh, rip into our next box. Ooh, I think I got the camera pretty zoomed in here, but I, we'll make this work. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Ah, five ounce bars. Now this is a product that's been hard to source. These are a beautiful design. These are called the Unity and Liberty, uh, made by the Saw Mint or Saw Cut Mint. I'll have to double check that. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments. <laughs> but anyway, these are a five ounce Unity and Liberty bar. I have 10 ounce bars in these same design. I also have one ounce rounds. I also have two ounce rounds. So if you're looking to complete a set of this design, I have it available in the one, the two, the five and the 10. Uh, I'm not sure if they have other sizes or not, but uh, I'll try to find out for you guys. But anyway, I did get assuming they're all here, 50 of these, or no, 100 of these, I should say. Uh, so we have 500 ounces in brand new, fresh, five ounce silver bars. These are available in the shop now. I was uh, getting really low on inventory on five ounces, and these don't pop up uh, availability-wise all too often. So I was happy to be able to jump on these and get these in so I can serve you great people and uh, my customers that come in the shop. So I do have one other piece I wanna show you. Whoa, had a little technical difficulty there. Sorry about that. I had a small collection come in today. It's actually was sold to me, for, or uh, brought to me from somebody who has come in several times and sold. Uh, but the last time they came in, they had this coin. It's actually a young, a young uh, person. He's probably uh, 10 to 12 years old and he comes in with his dad and they're both collectors. Um, the dad was selling a bunch of stuff to fund another purchase. He was actually gonna get some consecutive serial number graded 70 $1,000 bills. So think about that for a second. $1,000 bills, consecutive serial numbers, perfect grade, very expensive. So he sold a bunch of stuff to me, I included a lot of cool things. I'm sure you saw the video. There was a revolver, there was a silver Popeye. Uh, there was a lot of nice toned coins. There was a John Wayne coin. There was, 
you know, all sorts of cool stuff. Well, that came from the same person. Well, anyway, they came back today, and this popped up the last time they wanted to sell, um, but he asked my opinion. He said, well, would you sell this? I said, you know, honestly, I've never, ever in all my years seen a barber half dollar in my shop this nice. This is an incredible example. There's very little chatter. What I mean by chatter, bag marks or scratches or scuffs in the focal points, which is, you know, her cheek and neck and face area. Looks really, really clean. It's a very uh, nice grade. It's definitely uncirculated. Just a beautiful example. Well, long story short, in the past they've decided to keep it because it's, it's such a nice example. Uh, but the young man um, that was with the father actually decided he wanted to sell this because he was going to go out and buy his first $1,000 bill uh, with some of the proceeds from the things they sold today. And uh, they did decide to sell this, so I'm excited to own it. It's a beautiful, beautiful coin. I don't know how many numismatists or numismatists, depending on how you pronounce it, we have uh, that watch these videos, but I think anybody can appreciate the beauty of a 131-year-old silver half dollar that literally looks like it came out of the mint yesterday. Incredible. Never owned one this nice. I'm excited. Um, once again, I'll uh, have this available in the shop unless I decide to uh, incorporate it into my own collection. We will see, but beautiful and really nice example. But once again, got a lot of cool new silver available. And uh, we got a lot of uh, cool new gold as well. So uh, if you're in the market for either one, feel free to get in touch with me and uh, we'll see what we can do. But anyway, thanks for tuning into the video today, folks. Please, uh, as I said, if you want to hear or have a question answered, I should say, from a precious metals wholesaler, please drop it down in the comments. I'll be sure to include those questions in our chat that we have upcoming. Uh, but thanks for sticking with us. I appreciate you all. Thanks and have a great day.